I had just had a good time with you. It gave me great pleasure. Now I'm going to go home. So next time. Yes, next time. But why is this evening so quiet? Why don't customers come as usual? I still need money to pay my bills and rent. I still hope that my roommate was able to find money this month to support me with the charges. I think that today I will quickly return because I feel very tired. I really can't understand what's going on in my life. I had been looking for work for more than three months, but without success. My life is not progressing. I don't have a job or a husband. I don't have kids either. I had been living in a roommate for several months. My life is a failure. Despite all the prayers I say every day, I still keep going in circles. I don't even have money to help with household expenses. It seemed that I had been enchanted. I don't want to go back to the debauchery life I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, young lady, I'm in control of your life. As long as I am behind you, life will be very difficult for you. I am going to oppress you in this world. You'll be going around in circles all your life. You haven't seen anything yet. So were you able to get a job there? No, I have been looking so hard. As I understand it, I will be the only one still paying rent this month. I promise you that I will fight to find a job soon and as soon as I get my first salary, I will repay you everything I owe you. It is out of the question that I will pay the house expenses by myself this month. What do you want me to do? I want you to go back to the night work you did before. There is no way I am going to go back to this job. I don't want to sell my body for money anymore. Let me tell you that you have no choice. Or you continue working like me? Or you will leave my house? No, I can't do that. And yes, my girl, for me, you are destined to sell your body to men throughout your life, until one fine day you catch a sexually transmitted disease. And that way, your life will be ruined forever. Now agree to go back to your old job. You know what? My decision is made irrevocable. Please give me a few days so that I can still look for work. It is out of the question. Either you agree now to resume our business, or you leave my house immediately. Please don't send me back, or I might end up on the street. In that case, just agree to go back to your night shift then. If I were in your shoes, I would accept it without much thought. Only accept young lady. Oh! Well, my decision is made. I am going to leave this house, but I will never go back to the streets to sell this glorious body that God gave me. Good luck to you then. Thank you, bye. It is not possible. She had just turned down her young friend's proposal. Know that I will always be behind you. Oh my God. Please help me, because I can't take it anymore with my situation. Today, I find myself on the street again. I would no longer like to live in sexual debauchery. I have no one but you. Help me because I would no longer like to go back to the prostitution that I had abandoned. You does not even respect the commandments of your God and you want him to listen to you. Your God does not have your time. I am sure that in a few days she will come back to beg me because I know that she does not have money on her to be able to support herself and buy food. I had been living on the streets for several days. Today, I'm going to go to all the shops to ask for work. I will go see this lady and ask her for a job. Wow, what do I see like that? There is a monster following this young girl. Good morning, madam. Please. I am looking for work. Can you find me a job at your shop? Don't give her work, or you'll see what will happen to you. What did I just see like that? Excuse me. I'm sorry, young lady, I don't have a job for you. Please go away because I wouldn't like the monster that was following you to hurt me. But what monster are you talking about? Go away, go away. This lady's reaction is very strange. 
But what monster was she talking about? Now I will go to the next store. I hope the owner of this store will find something for me to do. Since I opened my store, customers kept coming. Really, this job takes up a lot of my time. I would like to recruit someone to replace me as soon as I am not there. Good morning, sir. Hello, young lady. If I'm here, it was to find out if you can find me a job in your store. Good thing you're here. Indeed, I was looking to recruit someone to assist me in this store. You're going to work for me. In fact, if you are available, you can even start today. Great. I am very happy. I will quickly show you the tasks you should complete. Okay, that works. It had been several days since my roommate left my house. I really thought she was coming back. But so far, I still have not heard from her. I hope she is doing great right now. In any case, if she came back, there is no way I would take her back home. I am very happy because I had just started the work I was looking for. I will be able to save money and in a few months I will be able to get my own apartment. So young lady? Is there where you live? Yes, sir. What are you looking for here? I followed you when you closed the store door. What? You know what? I am single. I would like you to stay in my house. That way, you'll have shelter and then we'll do great things together. I don't understand you. Be much more explicit. You are a big girl. It's not for me to tell you what we're going to do. Well, you will be my object of pleasure. No. Sir, I would rather sleep on the street than live in your house. If she refuses to live with you, don't allow her to work with you either. Besides, who are you? Do you want to know who I am? Pity, pity. You know what? I never want to see you in my store again because I don't want the monster following you to hurt me. Goodbye. I can't believe I just lost the job I found today. But what is really going on? What is this entity that is behind me all the time, at the pace where things are going? I should get up spiritually at all costs. Otherwise, this thing could ruin my life. For a few days, I saw a young girl in the cellar next door. I would go see her to find out why she had ended up there. I really don't know what to do with my life anymore. Hello young girl. Hello. For the past few days, I've been seeing you here. Tell me, don't you have a house? No madam. What had happened to make you end up in this place? You know what? I am just paying for the consequences of my sin. Before, I was a night shift worker. I sold my body to man so I could live. However, I had decided to stop this job. Today, I am looking for work, but I cannot find one. In the past, I did a lot of things that did not glorify the Lord whose consequences I am now experiencing. As I understand it, you are a Christian. So yes, madam, I am a Christian. Before, I lived my life like a pagan. But now I realize that the sky is falling on my head. All the bad things I did in the past are catching up with me. In addition, there is also a spirit that follows me on a daily basis. I really don't know what to do anymore. I had just got a job today and at the same time, I had also just lost it because of this spirit. Really, I am tired with life. I really don't know what to do anymore. Today, I no longer practice this life of debauchery. But things are going from bad to worse for me. Tell me, what am I going to do to get out of this situation? Because I can't take it anymore. Young lady I think you should take a few days of fasting and prayer to seek deliverance. I am also a Christian. If you want, I could find you a small dorm room. No ladies, that's very kind of you. You know what? I would like to take three days of fasting and prayers in this cellar to ask my God for forgiveness and also to seek my deliverance. It's good if you need anything, feel free to come and see me. I live next door. Okay, madam. No, no, that girl is escaping from me. If she really did what she just said, her God will answer. However, I will not allow it. 
Oh my God. I ask you to forgive me for the life I led in the past. I admit that I offended you so much. I had even opened the door to the enemy in my life. However, I come to you today with all my heart. I beg you, my God, and have mercy on me and cleanse me with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I pledge to follow your voices and obey your word. I am now making the decision to live in sanctification that all the doors that I myself had opened in my life be closed. So I prayed in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mom, I have just been transferred to another region in my work and I really don't know who to entrust my store to. I would not like to close this store either because I fought so hard to open it. So what are you going to do? I would like to urgently hire someone to replace me in my absence. Don't worry my daughter, I'm going to meet a young Christian girl. I'm sure she'll be able to run your store. Great thank you so much. Thanks to you, I can go to work in peace. I would still like you to know this young girl. I'm going to introduce her to you. As I said, I am very happy to get to know you. Same as me. I am extremely touched by the trust you have in me. I promise you that I will take care of your store properly. You know what? You aren't going to be alone. My mom will come by from time to time to assist you. Okay, that works. I promise you that I will take good care of your store. I will report to you regularly via video calls. Okay, now I have to go to my place. Perfect. Oh, I forgot. You could also move into my apartment if you want. With great pleasure. So are you happy with my daughter's proposal? Yes, I am very happy. I promise you that I will take good care of the store, of your daughter, and her apartment. Okay, that makes me happy. This girl has completely eluded me ever since she started praying and renouncing sin. Her God deployed several angels to protect her. I can't even get close to her anymore, otherwise, I might get run over. From now on, I will pursue another person. I bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ endlessly for the benefits it has brought to my life. Today, I will go see my friend who kicked me out to give him my testimony. I sure hope she would be home. Alright, I'm ready for work. I hope that I will have a lot of customers today. Who is that? Yes, wow. Hello, my friend. Good morning. You've changed a lot, I don't even recognize you anymore. Let's sit down so you can tell me what really happened in your life. Okay, like I was telling you, that's what happened in my life. There was a spirit that pursued me daily and I couldn't find work. I had spent a lot of time on the streets, but one day, God blessed me to meet a lady to whom I had told everything that was happening to me at the moment. And she told me to fast for a few days and to pray. I assure you that after listening to her words, I actually took three days of fasting and prayers to ask God for forgiveness. And the Lord answered me. Today, I work in the store that belongs to this lady's daughter and I even live in her apartment because she was sent by her work in another region. I could never imagine that you would succeed in your life like that. I am so happy for you. Thank you you know what? I advise you to give your life to Jesus and to leave this job that you are doing. And you will see that he will do great things in your life. You know what? I would like to know where you currently live in order to visit you one day. With pleasure. I'll give you my address. That way, you can drop by any time. Okay it is not possible. That girl can't make a living like that. I thought she was still living on the streets. I need to know where she lives at all costs. Do you already want to go? Yes, I sent you my address by message. You can stop by my house whenever you want. Okay, that works. See you soon. See you soon. I can't believe what I just heard. I would never allow this girl to succeed in her life more than me. She has no right to be happy. Now, I will go see a sorcerer so I can destroy her life, because I would not like to see her happy. My dearest friend, you still don't know what awaits you. Soon, you will find yourself on the street again. 
I will bring back your photos and your belongings that you left here at the Marabout, so that the work be much more expedited. Because I want you to go broke in the next few days. I would so much like my friend to give her life to Christ as I did to the Lord Jesus. I know that nothing is impossible for you. I trust you my friend will glorify your name in her life. As I told you master. That's what brings me back here. I would like this girl's life to be completely destroyed because I would never allow her to overtake me like that. Don't worry my clad. In a few days, her life will be completely destroyed. I'm going to use his photo and clothes that you just gave me to attack him spiritually and physically. I promise you'll never hear from her again. I will also give you a powder that you will pour into her room as soon as you go to her house. In the very near future, she will find herself lower than the ground. Great. That's what I wanted. My dearest friend. You haven't seen anything yet. Did you think you would be able to succeed in life like that very easily? You're really joking with me. I will be your last nightmare and as long as I live, you will never have peace. You go, now you have everything you need to take action. For my part, I too will do my job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, I will go to her house, because I am very eager to see her again below me. As she gave me her address. I will show up outside his door before announcing my arrival. I am really happy with the way this girl, and I, managed my store in my absence. But hey, since trust doesn't mean control, I'll call my mom again so I can make sure she controlled the sale of items with this girl in the store. Really, it was a very long day. Customers kept coming. Fortunately I was there to support and I. Who is calling me? Hello? Good afternoon mom. Are you alright? In fact, I am calling you to find out if Anai is doing her job well. Yes, my daughter. Don't even worry, she does her job well. Besides, I'm in the store with her. We had a great day because customers kept coming to buy. Soon we are going to close the door. Thanks mom for this information and your support is adorable. Thank you my daughter. Focus on your work and take care of yourself. Okay bye mom. Goodbye my daughter. Initially, I was worried that I would leave my store in the hands of a stranger. But now I realize that I did the right thing by putting this girl in my store. She is so good at selling because since she's been here, we're really doing numbers that we've never done before. Soon I will give her a raise. You know what? Anaya I am very proud of you. You're doing a good job. Thanks for your compliments. Now I'm going to let you close the store door. Okay, I almost got to the address that girl gave me. When I get there, I'm going to pour the product that my marabout gave me into her room. Thank you, God, for being with me throughout this day. Be praised, and glorified from eternity to eternity. I have just knocked on his door, but no one answered me. I think she hasn't come back from work yet. I won't leave until I've done what I came here to do. If I should even have to lie on this door, I will do so with great pleasure. I don't know why, I have a huge urge to pray. I feel very tired, but that won't stop me from praying. Lord Jesus Christ, I am leaving my life in your hands. I have no one but you. Protect me in my home. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Now I'm going to go home. This girl lives in a really nice neighborhood. Normally, I should be in this place. I would go and see if she is already returned from work. I'll go see who's ringing. Hi, how are you doing? I am fine. Wow. Your house is very beautiful. I didn't know you lived in such a nice neighborhood. You know, it's really by the grace of God that I'm here today. I'm really mad at you. Oh good. Are you serious? No, it was just for fun. You know, I was there for over an hour. Why didn't you call me before you came? I wanted to surprise you. Okay, I'm really getting hungry first. Settle in. I'll quickly get you something to eat. Perfect. It is very good. 
Now that he is not here, I will quickly take the opportunity to go and put the product that the Marabad gave me in this room. I don't have much left in my kitchen. I need to go shopping so I can cook a nice meal for my friend. That's it. Mission accomplished. Now I will quietly go home to wait for the result. But where is she? Olivia, are you outside the house? In a few days, I will call her to get news about her to find out if the product had acted on her. I can't find her anymore. It looks like she disappeared into the wild. It is strange the way she left. As soon as I get home, I'll try to call her. It had been more than a week since I have heard from my friend and I. Today I will call her to find out a little more about the product that I had poured into the room. I'm sure she would already be on the street. Hello and I. How are you doing? I am doing great. By the grace of God and you? I am well too. But why the last time, you left my house very quickly like that, without saying anything more to me? I tried to call you on your phone, but you didn't answer or leave me a message. I am so sorry. I had an emergency. That's why I left without warning. You know what? I would like to invite you to the restaurant tonight so that I can share something with you. Would you be available? Yes, I will be available. Just send me the location where we should meet. That's not possible. The product I had poured into her room did not work on her. I will go see my marabout right away to tell him about the situation. I need to destroy this girl's life. I can't wait to see Olivia again. I will take this opportunity to tell her about the benefits of the Lord Jesus Christ, because I would so much like her to give her life to him too. Tell me what brings my client back here again. I am not at all satisfied with your service, because the product you gave me last time did not work. I really can't count on you anymore. The girl is still quietly living her life. Calm yourself. I'm not going to calm down. You know what? I decided to take matters into my own hands. What do you want to do? I plan to meet her this evening at a restaurant. I will take this opportunity to be able to put a little thing in her glass like that. As soon as she goes to sleep at home, she will never wake up again. Don't tell me that you would like to take the life of this poor young girl. Obviously. I would not like to see her again in my whole life. All right, I've said enough. Goodbye. How is it that the product I gave her did not work? I don't know what's happening to me. I feel sorry for this poor young girl. She did nothing wrong to lose her life for free like that. It is essential that I intervene in this situation so as not to make my client do the irreparable. Oh my god. I am putting back the appointment I have with my girlfriend tonight. Between your hands I pray that you put words in my mouth to be a blessing for her. So I prayed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Finally, the long-awaited hour has come. I will be able to get rid of this girl quietly. Hello, my friend. Come and sit down. So Olivia? Why did you leave my house all of a sudden? Last time, you know. I got an extremely important call from someone. That's why I left. I am so sorry for that. It's not a big deal, otherwise, it's fine. Are you sure everything is fine at home? Why are you asking me that? I'm just worried about you. Thanks for worrying about me. You know, I give infinite glory to God who acts powerfully every day in my life. My life, my phone is ringing. Excuse me, I have to go take this cow. Take all your time. I must quickly take this opportunity to put the thing in her glass. It is not possible. What did I just see like that? This woman had just put a product in her friend's glass. She wants to poison this poor lady. In my restaurant, I will at the same time alert the police and prevent the lady who had gone from making her call from drinking the poisoned glass. Truly, the world is becoming more and more dangerous. Nobody can be trusted anymore. I'm going to tell the lady too. As I told you, don't drink anything in this restaurant because your friend decided to poison you. Be very careful with her because she wants your life. She is very jealous of you and your success. Be very careful. Goodbye. 
Thank you very much sir for warning me. Goodbye. Thank you Lord Jesus for rescuing me from the traps of the enemy. I could never have imagined Olivia could do something like this to me. Now I'm going to confront her. That's it, it's done. But why is she so slow to come for a drink? Madam, I came to see you to let you know that your friend had just put something in your glass. Please, don't drink the drink you left on the table. I already alerted the police to come and arrest her. Oh yes, she again? Thanks for informing me. That's very kind of you. Now you can drink what's in your glass. Really? Go drink it. What did I do to you? Why do you say that? Why would you want to poison me? Who said that? I really don't know what you're talking about. Stop making this astonished. As I understand it, you invited me to this restaurant to poison me. Isn't it? I don't know why you say that. Someone just told me that you put something in my glass. Just now. The person had even called the police who would not be long in coming. Who is this person? I. I hope this girl doesn't fall to her friend's trap. Anyway, and I would have warned her anyway. How can you envy a person so much as to want to take her life? Thank you very much sir for your gesture. You're welcome madam. God bless you abundantly. Amen. Please, sir, forgive me for my act. I promise you I will never do that again. I think you still don't appreciate the seriousness of your act. If someone did not catch you, you will have succeeded in your Machiavellian plan and your friend may have lost her life. I'm sure you're going to end up behind bars. Please, please don't do that to me. I was telling you, that's what happened. This girl wanted to end up with me trying to put poison in my glass. But Jesus Christ had delivered me. My daughter the Lord Jesus Christ loves you very much. You have to thank him for this great miracle he has just performed in your life. I will give him infinite glory until the end of my life. Really human beings are terrible. I could never imagine that she could hurt me. The man who called me even told me that the last time she came to my house, she had poured the product into my room to destroy my life. But this product did not work. I think this girl is inhabited by evil spirits. How can you allow yourself to be manipulated by the enemy like that? So what are you thinking of doing now? I would not like to see her convicted. So, I would go to the police station to talk to the police so that she could be released. Moreover, the police must properly prohibit her from doing this and tell her how much penalty she can have if she repeated such an act. Okay, if you want. I can go with you to the police station. No. Don't worry, I would rather go there alone. Okay, that works. What really prompted me to commit this act? I don't want to stay here. And I, I am truly sorry for what happened. Please get me out of here. I promise you I will never do anything like that again. You know what? I had just spoken with the police officers. So you will be released. Thanks a lot. All that is left to you to do is to give your life to God and open the door of your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, now I have to go to work. The police will be coming to release you very soon. Thank you you have a good heart. Stay as you are. Bye. I am proud of myself. Thank God for helping me forgive this girl and move on. You can now leave but if you resume what you have just done you will come here again. Rest assured, officer, I promise you that I will never do that again. Get out now. Thank you. I am really ashamed of what I had just done. My friend will never look kindly on me again. I have ruined my reputation like that. Well. I think I would move to another city, because I don't want people in my neighborhood to start looking at me the wrong way as soon as they find out what I did. I didn't even know you were back. In fact, I just wanted to spend the weekend with mom. That's why I came back. Really? And I, I wanted to congratulate you for the work you did in my shop. 
Thank you, Dorian. When I came, Mom told me about what happened between you and your friend. Fortunately, she had not been able to complete her Machiavellian project. And yes, it is God who protected me. Do you still have news from her? I would have learned that she had moved to another city. This girl is very lucky to still be free. If she had fallen to another person she would already be behind bars. You are right but I am a Christian and God taught me to forgive and to move on. Stay as you are don't change because you have a very good heart. If I am like this today, it is thanks to God. That is why I will give all the glory to him until the end of my life. Amen. Amen. That will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment and share it around you so that only one soul can be saved and restored. Also, do not hesitate to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so as not to miss any of our next videos. God bless you and keep you safe. Bye bye.